Are you ready to create some of the most useful and powerful motion graphics all within a few clicks? Well, now in After Effects, we can quickly add a variety of popular motion graphics that are truly amazing. So let's level up and get started. In the most recent version of After Effects, Adobe has added a handful of starter presets that you can easily edit to create masterpieces. For example, if you wish to place an auto resizing box around a title, search for 2D text box shape and place it into your project. This will create a shape layer with a couple of effects. Just set the drop down to your text layer and center align the box. You may need to adjust the padding, but when you go to edit your text, the box will update. And since this is a shape layer, you can disable the fill and just use the stroke. Furthermore, we can also add the trim paths property and animate the end from zero to 100% to create a beautiful boxed title. The next preset is incredibly useful and will make flickering effects easy. Apply the random on off preset to a graphic. The main parameter here is the probability which determines when the graphic will appear on the screen. So if you like to create details in your projects by duplicating and randomly moving your object, you can now quickly create flickering graphics. Sharing statistics via infographics has not been any easier. There is now a bar, line, and radial graph to choose from. You can easily update each value and you have up to 10 data points to use. If you only need, say, 5 data points, you can set the value of the extras to 0, and you can also adjust the thickness and the other aesthetic settings of your graphic. You can change the color of each data point by going inside the shape layer, selecting a shape, and simply changing the color at the top. Though you'll still need to add text and graphics to finish out the rest of your design. Now, similar to infographics, creating count up or count down animations is just a simple drag and drop when you search for counters. There are four different counters depending on what you need. For example, if you need a currency counter, drag it into your project and it will create a text layer in which you can change the font of. With the effect controls, I would set pad zeros to zero and then you can remove the decimals by setting it to zero as well. But these are really good options to have. You can also change the symbol of the currency or the other symbols within the other counters. And of course, you can adjust the multiplier and the value to set the final number. Great way to save time. However, to make this a countdown, you can hit U on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes, select both of those keyframes, right click and time reverse keyframes. Boom, countdown. In addition to these great free presets, never animate anything again by using our free animation presets. You can select any type of graphic, title or logo, browse a preset and watch your project come to life in seconds. You can utilize over 10,000 presets by checking the description below. If you're looking for a cool cursor, arrow, or should I say pointer elements, try the switchable cursor element. This allows you to switch among a handful of different elements. And since this is a shape layer, you can switch between the object being a fill or just a stroke. One of my favorite background elements has always been topographic designs. Now, when you apply a topographic preset to your project, you get these thin lines. You can use the tint effect to change the colors to anything you need, and you can also alt click the stopwatch for evolution and type time asterisk 20 to animate your topographic design. If you wanna give your titles and graphics a cool beveled style, try the new holographic foil effect. You can easily change the colors within the tritone option, and you can also adjust the animation by increasing the light angle. Two presets worth looking at are the new Animate Speed Lines and Radial Lines. These are really cool as these add anime style graphics in no time. For the anime lines, you can adjust the size and speed to help dial in the look you need. Now, just using a quick example here, but you're going to love this for years to come. The random hold numbers preset allows you to quickly add those abstract or digital numbers that will add detail to your projects. Simply, you can adjust the minimum or maximum value and the number will randomly animate based on the FPS setting. All right, to quickly pull state graphic back and forth, the wave value generator has you covered. If you select the transform effect and place the two anchor points in the center of your graphic, you would have added a pulsing animation to your project. Subscribe to be the best and always be creating.